Hi, I'm Tim Scheib, husband of one, father of five, and this is Behind the Sign. Headspace. We all have only so much room in our head, and how do we fill that space? Do we fill it with negative energy? Do we fill it with positive energy? What is going on up here that we can do to make life better? You know, the mind is a very powerful thing, and I'm not the first person to say that. We all have heard that hundreds of times. Our mind is very, very powerful. The stuff that goes through our mind, the stuff that controls our actions comes from our mind. How do we make sure that we have the right information in our head? You know, diet, you hear people talk about, you gotta eat the right diet so that your mind's clear and it's free. They have vitamins out there that, that help you think clearly. Uh, caffeine, people use caffeine a lot to make them feel really clear and able to go out and tackle the world. What is it that keeps you from doing that? What is it that keeps you from going out and just doing all the things you want to do? It's your mind. And it's some of that stuff inside of your mind that can keep you back. How do you clear your headspace? I know I've had some issues you know, lately where I've had something that's in my mind, in my head, that, that's negative. I need to go and face that. And I've done that. You have to face what's in your head that is holding you back so that you can tackle it. Some people will go to a counselor, right? They may not really understand exactly what's going on in their head and they have to have somebody help them out. That is a wonderful thing. If your head is just full of negative energy, can you go out and be positive that day? It's kind of hard. You know, from the moment we wake up in the morning, our alarm goes off. The first thing that pops into a lot of people's mind is, I don't want to get up. I've got a long day. I got to go do this. I got to do, I got to go do that. That is negative energy. Immediately, we're getting negative energy. How can we go out and we can tackle that? One of the methods for me in the morning is, I've heard, I heard this on a motivational deal. I watch motivational uh, YouTube videos about every morning, and it really clicked. She said, count backwards from five, because once you, or once you get to one, so five, four, three, two, one, you get out of bed. That is one way for me to tackle that initial feeling of, I don't want to get out of bed, I don't want to face the day. If the first thought that hits my mind is five, and then four, and then three, and then two, and then one, then boom, I'm up out of bed. That is, that is a positive move for me, and I'm moving forward, I'm moving in the right direction. You know, and, and you sit there and you think about your busy day, and you think about all that stuff. Well, if you wait past five seconds, you've already lost that opportunity to jump out of bed. That's when all those negative thoughts creep into your head. So it starts the very first thing in the morning. When you wake up, the alarm goes off, you have to have a positive thought. I know when I was growing up, you know, my mom would always wake me up by yelling down the stairs, Tim, time to get up. Well, when I heard that, it drove me nuts. Uh, as I got into college, every time my alarm went off, that noise drove me nuts. So if someone else's phone went off as a ring or an alarm, it was like, ah, you have to be able to channel that energy. You have to get the right thoughts in your mind immediately so you can get out of bed. Now, if you've got something that is just weighing you down, whether it's a family problem, whether it's a work problem, uh, you have to be able to face that. Let's say I've got a boss and that boss is driving me nuts. They're always on my back. I just don't like it. I feel like I'm always going to get fired. That is negative energy that's filling up your mind, filling up your head. How do you tackle that? Earlier, I did a vlog podcast that talked about fear. If you have a fear, you have to face it. Otherwise, you can't move forward. You can't propel yourself. Same with clearing your mind of negative energy. You need to go to that boss. It's not fun. You have a boss that's driving you crazy. You have issues. You have to go talk to him. You have to go and bring him up so that you can clear that issue up. Maybe it won't end up the way you want. Maybe he'll just fire you on the spot. But guess what? Now you have that negative energy out of your mind and you can channel your energy into positive things and move forward. So we know that mind is a very powerful thing. We hear it all the time. We know that people talk about if you can control what you think, you can control how you act, and you can move forward. You can control, you know, if you have a problem with diet or exercise, if you can control your mind, you can move forward. David Goggins always said you have 60% more in you. It's all in your head. You have, to, you have to think in your head that you have more, and then you have to move forward with that. You hear the law of attraction always saying that you not only have to think it, you have to feel it. And once you feel those positive energy, once you feel those positive thoughts, then your mind and your body will work together and move forward. Clearing out that headspace is so, so, so important. Make sure that every day you take time to think about what's in your head and what's filling your head. 
If it's negative energy, find out why, find out the root. Sometimes that can be painful. And if it takes a therapist to do it, I recommend it. If you've got pain inside of you and you constantly can't get this thought out of your head or you're thinking about something that drives you nuts or something that drags you down emotionally, go deeper and find out what that is. It can be scary, absolutely can be scary, but you need to do it. And once you clear that out of your mind, once you come up with a plan and you move forward and a goal, then you can move forward. Then you can get past that negative feeling you feel every day. So my best advice for you today is make sure you know what's in your head and make sure it's positive. And if there's negative energy in your head, get it out. Face your fear, go after it, find out what it is, tackle it, and move forward in a positive way.